Troops, Jeff Bowders here with Drum Discipline Academy, and for today's classic rock fills that rip, we're gonna learn the super tasty fill from the drumming chameleon, Greg Bissonette. So we're just not gonna break down and learn this fill today, but also I wanna show you a couple different ways that you can apply it to your own fill vocabulary. So to make sure you get crystal clear on all the information on this lesson today, I wanna make sure you hit the link download your free PDF so you know exactly what's going on, then you'll be good to go. All right, let's do it. So the fill that we're gonna learn today is from a song called Bump and Grind. I don't know, I think it might be about roller derby or something, I don't know, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, it's from one of the biggest and most influential albums of the 80s. This is David Lee Ross, Eat em and Smile. This album just had a powerhouse lineup. You had Steve Vai on guitar, Billy Sheen on bass, and of course, Greg Bissonette on drums. And this album was pretty much responsible for launching each of their respective careers really into the stratosphere. And you know, deservingly so, because their performances on this record are just flawless. The fill that we're learning today sets up the end of this song, Bump and Grind. It's actually a two bar fill, but we're mainly gonna focus on that second bar because that's where some really fun phrasing is gonna happen. So the first bar of this fill, it's just all hands playing 16th note triplets across four toms. I know a lot of us don't have four toms and that's fine. You can double up on a tom or even incorporate your snare, it's all good. The thing I, I wanna make sure you pay attention to is that on beat four, you're only gonna play four notes with the hands and then two notes with the One, feet. Two. Now you probably noticed that I played those last two kick notes as a double bass pattern. One note with the right foot, one note with the left foot. Of course, you can play this fill as a single kick pattern, just play two notes with the right foot, that's totally good. But ultimately, how Greg is playing this, he wants the articulation that a double bass approach really offers. Now to the more rhythmically interesting part of the fill here. So in the second bar, Greg is still playing 16th note triplets, but now he's breaking up the six notes per beat as groupings of two, two notes with the hands and two notes with the feet. And this kind of creates this cool polyrhythmic three over two type of feel. So to get comfortable with this first, we're gonna play this as eighth note triplets first. We're gonna play one note with the hand, one note with the foot, so we can really understand and appreciate the foundation of this phrasing first, then we can play the 16th note triplet version that Greg ultimately plays. So this is just the eighth note version, this is exercise 1A One, on your PDF. Two. Now the next thing, we're just gonna orchestrate it the way Greg did, and that's just snare drum, tom one, and then tom three. But while you're practicing this, I really wanna encourage you to alternate the sticking for each measure. So measure one, play all right hand, and then measure two, play all left hand. That way, you can get each hand really comfortable with this motion. Now to turn this into 16th note triplets, so the way Greg's playing it here, we're just gonna double up each eighth note triplet that we just played. So now the hand foot pattern is gonna be right left with the hands and then right left with the feet. Boom, simple, this is two A. Now just use that same orchestration and you got it, that's it. This is 2B. Two two,
So just to give you a couple ideas of how you can use this technique in your own playing is apply this phrase to the last two beats of your groove. You know, this 16th note triplets phrase is groupings of two, that three over two polyrhythm we, we talked about before. You'll start to see how it, it creates this fill with some pretty cool tension and some pretty cool color, especially once you start orchestrating it around the kit. So check it out. This is 3A. One, two, three. Now you can also start this phrase or this pattern with the feet, meaning start with two notes on the bass drum and then two notes with the hands following it. This phrase now is actually gonna end with the two notes with the hands. And this is actually my favorite version of it because I don't know, it just feels good to play. It feels stronger to end with the hand part. You have more options, right? You can voice it, you know, any way you want. So check it out, this is 3B. One. Alright troops, I hope this lesson gave you some new and easy ways to expand your own fill vocabulary. If it did, can you please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite song is off David Lee Ross, Eat em and Smile. Now go check out all of the Greg Bissonette you can. My favorite is actually his, his first self-titled solo record. Just great songs, obviously great playing. He's drum solos in almost every single song. It's a really, really cool record. If you haven't checked it out, you, you gotta. And then after that, what are we doing? Staying focused, practicing with purpose. All right, thanks again for checking this out, guys. We'll see you next time. Yeah.